Questions about the Sanford Center and its management company, VenueWorks, were the focus for tonight's Bemidji City Council work session. Our Josh Peterson was there where questions over policy and procedure were at the forefront. In a work session that's primary focus was to discuss issues of recent layoffs at the Sanford Center, tonight's work session was an opportunity seized by the Sanford Center's new executive director, Jeff Casso, to introduce himself and state VenueWorks' case for the future of Bemidji's event center. I think there's a couple of things that we really need to do is first and foremost we need to lead, we need to learn from our past and our past events. But issues over venue works and its business practices from the past few years has raised call for concern. Questions ranging from layoffs and severance packages to the cost of risk being taken on events brought in that don't perform well. We found out we're not supposed to take taxpayer risk on shows. We found out there's 15 shows that we're on the hook for at least 50 percent or all of the events. Some council members echoed similar questions and concerns. Expectations were shared in regards to what they expect from the Sanford Center and Venue Works. I'm not sure if our current deficit is reasonable for a facility our size, if we should be having higher expectations. Okay. But I, I really think really kind of trying to nail down stability is one of the most important things. While the Sanford Center already has an advisory council that oversees its operation, a small group or task force consisting of council members Mealhouse and Larson will look into policies and procedures. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And with the Sanford Center busy season fast approaching, management staff are looking at building its part-time staff and also looking to create a culture of stability. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.